Today we now continue with tutorial 13 of our Spring Boot Time Leave uh, API. We are making so much progress. Now we are going to create a page, a HTML page that is going to display a list of students. So such that if a user goes to visit slash students slash get all, as you can see in the controller, that page is going to be returned. So that page is going to have this name, students.html. Where do you create the page? You create HTML pages inside a special folder called templates. So your pages has to be has to be inside this template. This is where Spring looks for the HTML pages or time uh, time leaf, yeah looks for these pages here. So I'm going to create a new page order and I'm going to create create HTML file and I'm going to call it students. Make no mistake on the name students.html. So all right. So I'm going to just here I'm going to say Students list um, in the body. I'm going to say H2. I'm going to say list of of students. A list of students, right? Good. So now we've created this HTML page with the same name as the name uh, the, the, the 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 string returned by the get all method. Right, so the instruction says we now have to run this application and we are going to navigate to slash students, slash get all, and let's see if uh, it is going to return this page for us. So let's try. I'm going to just click run. Meanwhile, you can just look at this optional that says change the, change the at controller to rest controller modify the function, the return list of student, and also test it to see if it returns the actual data. So that is just something we can use to play around. So hopefully Tomcat staff aid um, for ATAD. So let me just shift this away. So I'm going to navigate to, let's come here and navigate to HTTP localhost host ATAD on this time slash two things uh, slash get all so let's see so we have list of students so this is html page we created an interesting thing is that the url does not actually change to the name of the page which is very important so let's try to do the same thing. Let's try to change up things a bit to see if we can get a list. Uh, this is just a play around, not that it's what we actually should do. So after after playing around, we change it back to what it should be. So let's change this to rest controller. And of course, control shift O on the keyboard. And now I'm going to just return. So just let return this list of students and let's just uh, return list of students. Or return. Okay, let me just. Okay, just return. Hmm, what happened? Sorry, let me just um, do this. So I'm going to just return student service that get all. Okay, so let's just correct this. Uh, return list of student. Perfect. So I'm going to run this and let's visit. This time we are going to visit like get all and we want to see list of students available there. So let's see. I'm going to rerun this application and let's see what happens. So if it works and we see the list of students is great, then we are going to change it back to how it was. Because what we did now to see the list of students is how APIs work. API gives you a list, uh, it doesn't give you a page. So what we are now getting is a list, not a page. But that is not the real thing we are working on. So if I go to slide get all, I refresh this page, you can see a list of students is there. So you can see. So these are the list of students. Uh, you can see that all of them, four of them here. So everything is working. So I'm changing back to how it was. So I'm going to just undo, 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 undo. Um, do again. So everything is back to how it was. This is how it should be. So I'm going to stop here. 
And let's see in the next tutorial, we now continue with tutorial 19, tutorial 14, sorry, how we can now set up jQuery and Bootstrap so that we can see our page looking so good. And we'll do that in the next tutorial. If you have challenges, let me know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button right now.